In this lesson, you'll learn how to configure the Extended Commissions report. The Extended Commissions feature allows you to set up custom employee commissions to suit your business. Before you get started with Extended Commissions, you'll need to set up your commission schedules in Shortcuts Fusion. Go to the Tools menu and select the Schedule or Roster. Then click on Commissions. Add the relevant commission names here. However, you can leave the numbers blank as these will be configured in your Extended Commissions feature. Press Done to exit the window. Then press Yes to save. Next, go to the Setup menu and select Employees. Assign the relevant commission schedule to your employees. You'll also need to add the employee's hourly rate or salary if you want the Extended Commissions report to calculate this. Then press Save. Once you've set up and assigned your commission schedules in Shortcuts Fusion, open Extended Commissions. You'll then need to enter your Shortcuts PIN number. Only employees that have access to commissions in your security settings can access this using their PIN number. First select Bands. Here you can specify different commission bands for services, sundry items and retail sales. To set this up, select the relevant commission schedule from the drop-down list. Then select Service, Sundry or Retail. When setting up retail bands, you can choose whether you want to calculate commission based on the amount or the number of units sold. You can then set up your commission bands by entering numbers in the From column. The numbers in the To column will be automatically filled. For each band, enter the commission rate employees will earn. Then press Save. Once you've finished setting up your bands for each commission schedule, exit the window. Now I'll explain the options on the main screen. If you want to read the description for a particular setting, you can click on the question mark to view more information. Remove the cost of the product determines whether the cost price is included for retail commissions. If you select No, then employees will earn commissions on the full sale price of the product. If you select Yes, then the cost price will be excluded and employees will only earn commission on the markup amount. Wage Schedule determines whether employee wages are based on the employee's scheduled hours or their clocked on hours. Select Logged Hours if you want their wage to be based on their clocked on hours, or select Roster if you want their wage to be based on the working hours in the employee roster or schedule. Remove the cost of a service gives you the option to exclude service costs from your commissions. Select No if you want employees to earn commission on the full sale price of a service or click Yes if you want to exclude the cost price for particular services. This will open a pop-up window. Service costs need to be configured for each service level you have set up. Select a level from the drop-down list. Then choose whether you want to enter service costs as a percentage or a fixed amount. If you have multiple block services, then you can choose to apply the cost to the first block only or all blocks. Select a service you want to add the cost for and enter the cost into this box. Each time you add a cost to a service, press Save. The cost will then appear next to the service in the Cost column. Once you've finished setting up your service costs for each service level, exit the window. The banding type determines whether different rates are applied to each band within the same commission payment. If you select Target, then the commission rate for the highest band achieved will apply to the entire amount. If you select Cumulative, then commissions will be calculated for each band, then added together. Here's an example of a Target Commission versus a Cumulative Commission. The calculation period determines how often employees need to reach their commission target. Select Weekly to calculate commissions based on weekly sales or choose Same as Report Period to calculate commissions based on your selected date range. Set Fee Per Bill allows you to set a cost amount for each transaction. The amount you enter here will be excluded from each transaction when calculating commissions. You can choose to enter this as a fixed amount or a percentage. 
This option is an alternative to removing individual product and service costs. Fallback wage determines whether employees are paid both a base rate and a commission, or if they only receive one or the other. Select wage and commission if all employees receive both a wage and a commission. If any employees receive only one or the other, click Variable. This will open a pop-up window. This screen allows you to select a payment option for each commission schedule. This option means employees will receive both a wage and a commission, and this option means they'll receive whichever has the highest value out of their base rate and their commission. Pay series at full price determines whether employees will receive commission for the actual series price or the full price of all the services. Select No if you want commission to be based on the actual series price, or select Yes if you want to pay commission for the series at the full price prior to the series discount. Retail Commission Split allows you to split retail commission between two different roles in the sale. The stylist is the employee who appears next to the item on the sale line, and the receptionist is the employee who was logged into shortcuts when the sale was processed. Enter the commission percentage you want to allocate to each person. Tips Processing determines whether tips are combined into the commissions report. If you include tips, then the employee's tip amount will be included on the extended commissions report. You can also set a tips fee to charge the employee a percentage for processing the tips. If you select Exclude Tips, the report will ignore tips altogether. Retail Commissions allows you to set commission rates for specific lines of products. Select Use Bands to apply the same rate you set up in the Band section across all products. Or click on Line if you want to specify commissions for certain lines. This will open a pop-up screen. To add commission rates, click Edit Rates. Then enter up to five different rates which can be applied to your retail lines. Once you've entered your rates, press Save. Select the company you want to view lines for. To apply a commission rate, select a line. Then choose a rate from the drop-down list. And press Save. Once you're finished using this screen, press Close. Here you can choose whether you want to include or exclude tax in your commissions. In the Additional Types section, you can change Sundry to something else if you don't want to set up commissions for Sundry items. Whichever option you select here will replace Sundry in the Bands section, allowing you to set up commission bands. If you select Chemical, then you can set up commission bands for only services that require visit notes. If you select Client Count, then you can set up commission bands based on the number of clients seen by an employee. Click on the Help button to view more options. You can click here to open a user guide, click here to restore the default settings, and click here to switch the fade effects on or off. When you're finished configuring the extended commissions report, press Save. You can then click here to exit. Now that you know how to configure the extended commissions report, you can set up custom employee commissions to suit your business.